Hello guys, this is the first tutorial of this channel. I'll go through all the process I went to texture this little spider OLED in here. This is a character that I've made for Fight and Fall. And speaking of which, if you want to support us making more tutorials for this channel, please make sure to wishlist the game on Steam. I'll leave the link on the description. So now, without any further ado, let's get into it. I'll start by painting the values in the character. In this part, I won't worry about the colors. I'll add a few layers with a black mask, and I'll be filling the different shapes of the character with different values. I'm trying to find different values for shapes that are next to each other. Doing so makes it easier to identify the different shapes of the character. To do this, I'll duplicate the layer, change the value, and repaint the mask, and do it again and again. I'll do the same for the clothes. After I'm done with this first block out, I'll add a few layers with a dark value and with multiply blending mode. And adding a black mask, I'll add an ambient occlusive generator and instantiate the across textures to add some shadows to the character. I'll continue blocking out the values in some more specific areas. After I'm done, I'll add a few layers with the Divine Blending Mode and I'll add a black mask and start adding some light into the character. I'll first start with some highlights. Do the same for the hair. I skimp in the painting different layers so I can change the opacity to the intensity that I want. When I'm done with this, I start painting some more general lighting. I'm considering that there's lighting coming from every direction around the player coming from the top, so by now you won't cast any shadow. I just paint some diffuse lighting now, not going into any stronger lighting. Now I start painting some shadows. I'll add a few layers with a dark value in the mode supply blending mode, and add a black mask, I'll start painting some shadows. This shadowing part helps us explain more of the range of values that we have available to us, and it gives more depth to the character. What you want to keep in mind is that before starting painting some colors, we want the base color to have some depth for itself. I will add a second pass to the lighting correcting some parts and, and adding some intensity to others. Something that I make to give the character a painted look, I add a few layer with a multiply mode, add a mask with a cloud noise and use a blur slope filter in it. So it gives this brush strokes look. Now, before starting painting the colors, I use a dove color to decide the color scheme that I use for this character. I always try to find different color schemes for different characters. For this character, I use red, yellow, and blue. I started by masking out the legs, and I always try to find places that I can put some gradients, so you can get some color variation to the character. And now I'm basically blocking out and masking out the parts that I want different colors. Now going to the clothes now and doing the same process.
right now I'm not going to any final result. I'm just exploring the colors and trying to find what looks better. I always make the characters darker in the bottom and brighter in the top. So the head and the top parts of the character call more attention. Add a few layers with divide blending mode with a curvature to add a mess to the corners of the character and I use a blur slope filter to give this painted look. I'll add a contrast filter, decreasing the contrast, and I use a mask with a gradient from the bottom to the top to decrease the contrast in the bottom parts of the character. Now I'm using HSL to mess with the hue, saturation and the value of the character and using an ambient occlusion to mask the parts that I want to apply this effect. Always trying to change the colors to see what I like the best. For the eyes, I basically painted a circle in the middle a darker color in the middle of the iris and painted some highlights into it. Using HSL, I'm trying to find some color variation to this spider part of the character, trying to offset the color a little bit to orange, so it won't be a flat red. I'm adding a wool material to the t-shirt, and to the skirt I'm adding some textures with a fabric pattern of Substance Painter. Since I already have some block out of the colors, I start messing with the roughness to get some roughness variation and I can preview what it looks like in the final material mode. I generally use a noisy to give a base to the roughness and then I start multiplying this roughness where I think it should be more or less rough. Now I'm trying to add some more colors to the skin to have a color variation and to give this old skin look too. After I'm almost done with the colors, I re reapply the ambient occlusion in the character. Same thing for the lighting, I create a lighting layer again and I'm making some corrections to the lighting. I do this because you lost a lot of the details when you're painting the colors. I do the same thing for the clothes. Now I'm pretty much satisfied with what I have, so I'll just make some final adjustments to the roughness and I'll bring it to Marmoset set to render it. I finished the character's textures and started working on some simple models to compose the final scene. I then give the character a simple rig with a simple pose. Brought everything into Marmoset. set and added some lighting and some post process. And this is the final result. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel to be the first to watch our future videos. Make sure to leave us a comment and follow us around the web. You'll see you in the next video.